Buenos dias. How are you guys doing today? All right, we need some espresso back there so you folks could get charged because we're talking about some very cool subjects, not very sexy or sensational, but certainly a conversation that we need to have. So I'm your newly elected Lieutenant Governor. I'm about uh, 10 months old now, but I am so honored to be before all of you today to talk about this very important topic. Everyone is here because we care about government efficiency. The simple idea that providing better services at a lower cost to taxpayers is a good thing. Currently, Illinois has nearly 7,000 units of local government, 35% more than any other state in our great nation. These unnecessary levels of bureaucracy keep taxes high and have contributed to Illinois becoming second in the nation for highest property tax rates. Not to mention many other high local taxes such as sales, telecom, utility, and fuel. In fact, from a specific standpoint, I'm from Wheaton, Illinois, and 18 units of local government represent all four feet, 11 inches of me. Now, in February, our governor, Rauner, issued an executive order creating the Local Government Consolidation and Unfunded Mandates Task Force. I sit as chairwoman of this task force, but I see here, and if you could raise your hands, many of you serve on my task force, and we're all working diligently, uh, right, diligently. They're working so very hard. It is a bipartisan group of people from our state, General Assembly, from education, academia, business, and of course, local governments that indeed do work. The task force has met 10 times already this year with the goal to present the governor with specific and targeted policy solutions specifically designed to deliver efficient, effective, and streamlined government for the residents of our great state by the end of the year. This is why we're working so hard. There are several members of this task force, as I said, here before you today. Senator uh, Linda Holmes, where are you? Here. I'm sorry, see, this is a problem with hiding behind her. <laughs> and of course, uh, Representative Jack Franks and uh, Hill Hammock and, um, you know, our great Dan Cronin. So, so many of you, and again, you're working so hard uh, with this task force. I speak to you today as not only your lieutenant governor, but as a taxpayer. As we said, Illinois has nearly 7,000 units of local government. The state closest to us is Texas, and they have double the population and five times our size, at about 5,100 units of government. And in California, with triple our population, they have only 4,400 units of government. Simply put, we can and must do better for our people, our taxpayers here in Illinois. Nearly half of our local government units are not cities or counties, school districts, or townships. You know, the bodies we traditionally think of when we hear local government. Illinois has over 3,200 special districts that provide hyper-specialized services. We have more units of special purpose local government than 41 other states have total local governments. That includes park districts, public building commissions, public library districts, transit districts, cemetery maintenance districts, fire protection and mosquito abatement districts, to name just a few. And all of these units can levy property taxes upon us. The way we do local government here in Illinois is not the way it's done in other states. In other states, these local governments are departments within the county or municipal governments where they can better deliver the same level of services without the added costs of redundant payroll systems. They do it through HR, IT services, equipment, the list goes on and on. We can make local government more efficient and effective through consolidation and through the sharing of services. As an example, the voters of Evanston, I, I see an Evanston, there you are. Thank you so much for testifying before us a few months back. So the voters of Evanston, this May, 
You know what they did? They consolidated, consolidated Evanston Township into the city of Evanston. And thank you for your testimony because you did say it was a long and hard journey, but it needed to happen. And it lasted you folks about five years to be able to accomplish this. But you know what? They came out winners. You know what they did? It saves $750,000 annually. That translates into more food on the table and more money in the bank for the people and businesses of Evanston. So, let's talk about water. In Illinois, there are nine different types of local government specifically related to water. According to the Illinois Comptroller, we have one surface water district, four joint action water agencies, five water reclamation districts, seven water authority districts, nine water commission districts, 12 public water districts, 64 water service districts. And in addition, we have 97 soil and water conservation districts and 852 drainage districts. Are you guys thirsty yet? Yeah, I know, me too. All together, these water-specific districts represent 1,051 of the nearly 7,000 units of local government, or one-seventh of all the local governments in Illinois. When we have more local governments assigned to water issues than some states have in total, we simply need to at least ask if there is a better way to serve our good people here in Illinois. But enough about the numbers for now. The task force has considered various proposals to structurally reform state and local government, to provide unfunded mandate relief and flexibility to local governments, and to empower residents by removing hurdles to the consolidation process. Earlier this year, our task force recommended enacting a four-year moratorium on creating new local governments in Illinois. This measure was passed by the legislature and signed into law by Governor Rauner. So we are swiftly making advancements, even though our task force is a very young task force. The first step in addressing this problem is stopping this from occurring altogether, stopping these additional new units of government. The task force has also made recommendations to make it easier for citizens to initiate consolidation referendums and to expand DuPage County's wildly successful effort to prune local governments whose officers are appointed by the county. Thank you for that, Cronin. Yes, yes. We've also made recommendations to make township consolidation easier. We are working with Northern Illinois University and Dr. Norm Walzer to produce a report on our efforts, including a first-of-its-kind survey of local governments to identify and quantify the most burdensome unfunded mandates that prevent all local governments from being more efficient, effective with our tax dollars. The task force has enacted on the feedback we've received from local governments. We're preparing a journal of best practices of shared services so we could learn from each other on how to deliver more efficient, effective, and streamlined government. We've made recommendations to relax unfunded mandates by repealing or reforming prevailing wage, to modernize public notice mandates, and to give schools more autonomy to serve their own students and their taxpayers. These proposals will help free up resources so we can help the most vulnerable citizens in our great state. We can lower the tax burden on our families and small businesses and ultimately make Illinois a better place to work and to raise a family. And in December, our task force will give its finalized proposal to the governor to help ultimately streamline government. I am glad to share this mission with such an impressive group of leaders. And I look forward to what we will accomplish together. Thank you for having me this morning and enjoy your day.